a criticality accident is an uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction. It is sometimes referred to as a critical excursion or a critical power excursion and represents the unintentional assembly of a critical mass of a given fissile material, such as enriched uranium or plutonium, in an unprotected environment. A critical or supercritical fission reaction generally only occurs inside reactor cores and occasionally within test environments. A criticality accident occurs when the same reaction is achieved unintentionally and in an unsafe environment. Though dangerous and frequently lethal to humans within the immediate area, the critical mass formed is still incapable of producing a nuclear detonation of the type seen in fission bombs, as the reaction lacks the many engineering elements that are necessary to induce explosive supercriticality. The heat released by the nuclear reaction will typically cause the fissile material to expand, so that the nuclear reaction becomes subcritical again within a few seconds. In the history of atomic power development, 60 criticality accidents have occurred, including 22 in collections of fissile materials located in process environments outside of a nuclear reactor or critical experiments assembly. Although process accidents occurring outside of reactors are characterized by a large release of radiation, the release is localized and has caused fatal radiation exposure only to persons very near to the event, resulting in 14 fatalities. No criticality accidents have resulted in nuclear explosions. Cause Criticality occurs when sufficient fissile material is in one place such that each fission of an atom of the material, on average, produces a neutron that in turn strikes another atom causing another fission. This causes the chain reaction to become self-sustaining within the mass of material. Criticality can be achieved by using metallic uranium or plutonium or by mixing compounds or liquid solutions of these elements. The chain reaction is influenced by parameters noted by the acronym MAGIC MERV, for mass, absorption, geometry, interaction, concentration, moderation, enrichment, reflection and volume. The calculations that predict the likelihood of a material going into a critical state can be complex, so both civil and military installations that handle fissile materials employ specially trained personnel to monitor operations and prevent criticality accidents. The calculations that predict the excursion characteristics can also be complex, as this requires knowledge of the likely process upset conditions. The assembly of a critical mass establishes a nuclear chain reaction, resulting in an exponential rate of change in the neutron population over space and time leading to neutron radiation and a neutron flux. This radiation contains both a neutron and gamma ray component and is extremely dangerous to any unprotected nearby life form. The rate of change of neutron population depends on the neutron generation time, which is characteristic of the neutron population, the state of criticality, and the fissile medium. A nuclear fission creates approximately 2.5 neutrons per fission event on average. For every 1,000 neutrons born in fission, seven are delayed neutrons which are emitted from the fission product precursors, called delayed neutron emitters. This delayed neutron fraction, on the order of 0.007 for uranium, is crucial for the control of the neutron chain reaction in reactors. It is called $1 of reactivity. The lifetime of delayed neutrons ranges from fractions of seconds to almost 100 seconds after fission. The neutrons are usually classified in six delayed neutron groups. The average neutron lifetime considering delayed neutrons is approximately 0.1 seconds, which makes the chain reaction relatively easy to control over time. The remaining 993 prompt neutrons are born very fast approximately 1 I 1 quarter s after the fission event. Nuclear reactors operate at exact criticality. When at least one dollar of reactivity is added above the exact critical point then the chain reaction does not rely on delayed neutrons, and the rate of change of neutron population increases exponentially as the time constant is the prompt neutron lifetime. Thus there is a very large increase in neutron population over a very short time frame. Since each fission event contributes approximately 200 MeV per fission, this results in a very large energy burst as a prompt critical spike. This spike can be easily detected by radiation dosimetry instrumentation and criticality accident alarm system detectors that are properly deployed. 
accident types, criticality accidents are divided into one of two categories, process accidents, where controls in place to prevent any criticality are breached. Reactor accidents, where deliberately achieved criticality in a nuclear reactor becomes uncontrollable. Excursion types can be classified into four categories depicting the nature of the evolution over time, prompt criticality excursion, transient criticality excursion, exponential excursion, steady state excursion. The prompt critical excursion is characterized by a power history with an initial prompt critical spike as previously noted, that either self-terminates or continues for an extended period as a tail region that decreases over time. The former was only one of the 22 process accidents, the latter is noted for reactors and critical assemblies. The transient critical excursion is characterized by a continuing or repeating spike pattern after the initial prompt critical excursion. The longest of the 22 process accidents lasted 37 hours. The 1997 Tokai Mura criticality accident lasted 18 hours. The exponential excursion is characterized by a reactivity of less than $1 added, where the neutron population rises as an exponential over time, but not reaching prompt critical. The exponential excursion can reach a peak power level, then decrease over time, or reach a steady state power level, where the critical state is exactly achieved for a steady state excursion. The steady state excursion is also a state which the heat generated by fission is balanced by the heat losses to the ambient environment. This excursion has been characterized by the Oklo natural reactor that was naturally produced within uranium deposits in Gabon, Africa about 1.7 billion years ago. Recorded incidents, at least 60 criticality accidents have been recorded since 1945. These have caused at least 21 deaths. 7 in the United States, 10 in the Soviet Union, 2 in Japan, 1 in Argentina, and 1 in Yugoslavia. 9 have been due to process accidents, and the others from research reactor accidents. Criticality accidents have occurred both in the context of nuclear weapons and nuclear reactors. There was speculation although not confirmed within criticality accident experts, that Fukushima 3 suffered a criticality accident. Based on incomplete information about the 2011 Fukushima I nuclear accidents, Dr. Ferenc Dana speculates that transient criticalities may have occurred there. Noting that limited, uncontrolled chain reactions might occur at Fukushima I, a spokesman for the International Atomic Energy Agency Euro E emphasized that the nuclear reactors won a Euro unregistered trademark T explode a Euro by March 23, 2011. Neutron beams had already been observed 13 times at the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant. While a criticality accident was not believed to account for these beams, the beams could indicate nuclear fission is occurring. On April 15, TEPCO reported that nuclear fuel had melted and fallen to the lower containment sections of three of the Fukushima I reactors, including Reactor 3. The melted material was not expected to breach one of the lower containers, which could cause a massive radioactivity release. Instead, the melted fuel is thought to have dispersed uniformly across the lower portions of the containers of reactors number 1, number 2 and number 3, making the resumption of the fission process, known as a recriticality, most unlikely. Observed effects. Equals blue glow equals. Many criticality accidents have been observed to emit a blue flash of light. The blue glow of a criticality accident results from the fluorescence of the excited ions and atoms of air falling back to unexcited states, which produces an abundance of blue light. This is also the reason electrical sparks in air, including lightning, appear electric blue. The smell of ozone was said to be a sign of high ambient radioactivity by Chernobyl liquidators. This blue flash or blue glow is often incorrectly attributed to Shenkov radiation. It is a coincidence that the color of Shenkov light and light emitted by ionized air are a very similar blue as their methods of production are different. Shenkov radiation does occur in air for high energy particles but not for the lower energy charged particles emitted from nuclear decay. In a nuclear setting, Shenkov radiation is instead seen in dense media such as water or in a solution such as urinal nitrate in a reprocessing plant. 
Shenkov radiation could also be responsible for the blue flash experienced in an excursion due to the intersection of high-intensity gamma radiation with the vitreous body within the eyeballs of those in the presence of the criticality. This would also explain the absence of any record of blue light in video surveillance of the more recent incidents. Equals heat effects equals, some people reported feeling a heat wave during a criticality event. It is not known whether this may be a psychosomatic reaction to the terrifying realization of what has just occurred, or if it is a physical effect of heating due to energy emitted by the criticality event. A review of all of the criticality accidents with eyewitness accounts indicates that the heat waves were only observed when the fluorescent blue glow was also observed. This would suggest a possible relationship between the two, and indeed, one can be readily identified. In dense air, over 30% of the emissions lines from nitrogen and oxygen are in the ultraviolet range, and about 45% are in the infrared range. Only about 25% are in the visible range. Since the skin feels infrared light directly as heat, and ultraviolet light is a cause of sunburn, it is likely that this phenomenon can explain the heat wave observations. See also equals Related terms and concepts equals Criticality Nuclear and radiation accidents, nuclear criticality safety. Equals in popular culture equals, The Beginning or the End, a 1947 MGM movie that was the first Hollywood film to depict a person killed in an accident similar to the real-life Slotin criticality event. Edge of Darkness, a 1985 British television drama where a character dying from radiation poisoning deliberately induces a criticality event as proof that he is in possession of plutonium, and to expose an enemy to a fatal radiation dose. Fat Man and Little Boy, a 1989 Paramount picture, portrays a fictional composite of Harry K. Dalian and Louis Slotin who dies of exposure when two hemispheres, which are separated by a wedge, connect accidentally. Meridian, an episode of Stargate SG-1, where a criticality accident similar to the Slotin incident occurs. Infinity, a 1996 story of Richard Feynman played and directed by Matthew Broderick. There was a sub-story of a death due to a criticality accident. Day 1, a history of the A-bomb development. 1,000 Ways to Die, a program airing on Spike TV related to docu-fiction story titled Gone Fission depicting terrorists involved in a criticality event similar to the Dalian accident. List of films about nuclear issues. Notes. References. Johnston. List of radiation accidents, William Robert Johnston Johnston. Wood River Criticality Accident, 1964, William Robert Johnston McLaughlin A.L. A Review of Criticality Accidents by Los Alamos National Laboratory, May 2000. Coverage includes United States, Russia, United Kingdom, and Japan. Also available at this page, which also tries to track down documents referenced in the report. External links, press release on a report on criticality accidents from Los Alamos National Laboratory, U.S. report from 1971 on criticality accidents to date, the criticality accident in Sarov, IAEA. 2001 A Euro well-documented account of a criticality accident.